in a relationship, it's it's so important to just have that respect, knowing that if I am in trouble, I trust a hundred percent to tell me the truth. We always tell each other the truth. This is, I think, this is the yeah. most thing that kept us together, even if it's uncomfortable. Even if it's uncomfortable. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hey, hi. Oh. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, and you? Very well. Oh, good, thank you. Judith, and how are you? Nice. Yeah, it's so lovely to meet you at last. Yeah, I, finally. Thank you. <laughs> I, I just see you always on these beautiful pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, finally she's in flash. <laughs> <laughs> I must congratulate you on your beautiful wedding. I mean, oh, so really sad. stunning. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And I love the color. I mean, you 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 went with emerald. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. You. Yeah. She's in charge of that, not me. <laughs> really? <laughs> not I, I, me. I had to say yes. That's all. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite yes. color. Flowers, yes. Yeah. That, yes, yes. <laughs> But Sanipo, that's the way to do it. You, you're a good man. <laughs> happy wife, happy life, right? I try. Exactly. I tell you, it's so difficult to keep up, but yeah. No. <laughs> well, and and what is so amazing uh, for me is that when when I see you on these pictures, you have the same smile. Oh, yes. we are twins now. Yeah. No, but have people told you that? Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's saying you smile the same way. I'm yeah. like, somebody must be copying me. Oh, anyway. please. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> but listen, is it all right to ask how you met each other? Yeah. We met in yeah. Zurich. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nine years ago. Eight years, Eight years ago. In, uh, in, the in the studio. We met really? in the studio in Zurich. Yeah. And we've been together since. So, and it was like love at first sight. I would say it was, but somebody was a little bit weird <laughs> trying to be hard, trying hard to get. Of course. <laughs> we need it to do that like, like that. women. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but of course, how can you miss this? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. Okay, so and then from there you you um, but it's also now difficult for you because you don't always work in the same at the same theater. And how do you manage this long distance um, way of doing it? Um, I I think because we started together in the studio in Zurich and we understood yeah. exactly yeah. what was to come if we were to continue to be together. We were well prepared and well aware that we're not going to be 100% together all the time. And so when we, when things decided to go, I mean, because we then went in separate ways, of course, Judith was um, in Zurich for, for more years in an ensemble and I continued at the Dutch Opera, but we could make some time all the time that we in contact and we see each other, it's important to keep in, really, it's important to keep in, 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 in touch almost every day, like talking. Yeah, uh, FaceTime. FaceTime. <laughs> really, it was, it's messages. And calls. I'm not going to say to you, it was all beautiful. No, there were like really hard times where frustrations will come in where, you know, you, you want to give up and say, it's been a long time, what are we doing? I don't want to do this anymore. I mean, especially when you go through hard times with productions yeah. and rehearsals, a lot goes on. But then we had to just stay strong, really, because we, we were so in love with each, other, with each other that we couldn't even avoid. I mean, there was no way that we could no. go separate no. ways. Yeah. It just didn't work. We tried it, it didn't work. I mean, we tried it for two weeks and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> when I left Zurich, we didn't, we tried to not even because she was like, I don't want to do this if you're not going to be distance, alone yeah. around me. It lasted only two weeks, I tell you. It's the honest truth. And we were back in touch. And we were back together and we we're back to square one. But and you know, this uh, is, 
Yeah, but this is the side of of the artists that people don't always realize is that your lives are like that. You know, it's not always so predictable that you can, especially when you freelance, that you can say, well, this is where I settle now and this is where we stay. It's not, and, you know, I've also spoken to um, artists who have children who say that they're, it's also that that life, it's not the normal life from nine to five, you're working and then, you know, that you have to adapt. They have to adapt by the fact that mom and dad um, are working, say, at night, for example. But now with you as well as couples, or as a couple, it's also interesting to know that I think there are many couples um, that that do this that you are doing. Yeah, I think it's very important for us the, um, being all the time in touch and always finding time for ourselves. Uh, every time when we have two, three days uh, free, we just fly to each other or take a train. So we always make time for yeah. ourselves, for our relationship. And I think this was from the beginning like this, even though um, I was in Zurich in the ensemble and then Sunny left doing freelancing and then I came to Deutsche Oper and then I was there and I'm freelancing and from since we are like we were this. together, we were in the same city for quite a Yeah, in uh, Berlin, yeah, yeah, we were together for like three, four years in the same city, which was helpful in a way. Because uh, when he was singing at the Deutsche Oper, I was singing at the Deutsche Oper, so that was really good. And then uh, even if we were freelancing, we made time. Like, for instance, uh, now in September, I was in, in France and he was here in Germany. And we made sure that he can come to see me for like in the whole month that I was there. He could come for five five days and see me. So I think that's the most that's the most uh, important thing that we are marching on. Like always, t find time to 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 see each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, because you're also in the same uh, line of work, you can support each other. So you understand you can understand when one had a a bad day, why or how it feels, and so that's also a great thing. I think. I, I would yeah. say that happens quite a lot, actually, that she is stressed and I'm stressed. And I, I know when I come and complain or say things that frustrate me to her, she knows what to say and when to say it. And in that way, she calms me down. Vice versa, she does the same. Yeah. And I think we ju it's just a matter of being a good balance, knowing exactly what makes her feel happy when she's in this situation what can i say i mean i think we know each other that well that we know what yeah. to say when somebody yeah. is not in a good yeah, yeah. Mm. And especially we understand um because we are doing the same job we have the same job so we understand how maybe a production can be so frustrating or a, a stage director or a staging or whatever or colleagues or whatever so uh it's very important i think that we are doing, we're having the same job. Yeah. And do you ever sing together? Uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately not. But we did once in Romania. Yeah, we had it was a concert. Yeah. But it, you look, we are totally different voices. Yeah. And okay. I think what this makes it more easier for us because there's no competition you did sings huge repertoire i sing the light repertoire there is just no way we can just <laughs> sing okay. together it's very and rare it's the opposite even if only in Swedish. and i think also yeah. that work that works for us because we hardly talk about singing to be honest with you you'll be surprised really? yeah we hardly talk about voice not unless i am doing um an opera that i have that challenges me then I will say, you did, I'm doing this. Can you do this? Um, she will say, do it like this because she's a totally different person. I'll be like, oh, no, I can't do it like that. <laughs> and I end up finding a way, but you end up getting yeah. a solution how to get away with that uh, problem that I have. And I think it takes a lot of understanding and a lot of patience and a lot of respect. respect for each other. When, when I say, look, I'm suffering, help me. 
and she does help me and she she does that a lot though to come to me how do you do this run how do you do this and i'm like oh, you can't do it she's like i hate doing runs and i mean it's we both have different things and i'm like to her how do you make this sound like it sounds so mesh mellow then i want this i want this and she'll say try try this way try this way and this way we 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 learn something from each other and i think in a relationship it's it's so important to just have that respect knowing that if i am in trouble i trust a hundred percent to tell me the truth we always tell each other the truth this is i think this is the yeah. most thing that kept us together even if it's uncomfortable even if it's uncomfortable she mm. would tell me if, if i had a show and i felt like ah oh, i didn't sound well she would say could have been better you know but in a nicer way that makes no. me want to do better the next uh, performance that is coming up so it's just a matter of knowing how to say it when to say it yeah because she will never say anything right after the show because she knows i'm like ah! yeah you have <laughs> you have so much high energy after a yeah. show and it's normal to uh it's normal for an artist to want to hear good things after the show because you just poured out your soul and heart on stage so it's very um it's very delicate and sensitive and you take it personally because it's about your voice but i'm never happy she's better i uh, every after show i'm always complaining she does mm. she's so calm she does the opposite of me but uh, yeah we we always we find we always find a way because knowing how you feel like a performer like an opera singer how you feel after a show i think that helped us uh, so much because i know how i feel how it feels to come off stage and then mm, that that little thing that I, it could have been better you know yeah and you know it like a singer you know it nobody can um uh you know it he doesn't need to tell me nobody can tell me like i know it i know that i there is something maybe that i didn't like or something i know it so that's why i know that he knows he knows that i know so and if he brings it up the next day or the following days then when he's we are calm and the energy is down and and we are more calm and we are not that into it <laughs> um yeah. then we 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 tell it's each other to sort out. yeah it's easier to sort out i think uh, you know i think it's important that you hear it from the person that that's closest to you because who else would tell you the truth and uh, it's wonderful that you have that type of relationship yeah it's it's really mm. honestly it's very rare in in our business to find people who are going to be honest and be real with you and i'm i must say we are very blessed our friends are people who are very sincere and uh, loyalty in all of us is an important factor so we are so loyal to each other in a way that we have told all my friends we want to grow yeah. and if we want to grow we have to tell each other the truth it yeah. is rare to find people who are going to be <laughs> like that but we are very lucky we have and i i'm sure you know see is my my little brother so yeah it, it's one, yeah it, it's, so it's like we we yeah. are our, we are the the family that tells yeah, but, each other the truth yeah but you also support each other i see on facebook it's so wonderful that you do that yeah. you know we've been yeah. there for each other since we moved to germany so uh why why, why not continue so yeah that's yeah. wonderful it's very rare It's, it's very, not normal yeah. it's not and because yeah. you will find people questioning how are they friends for so long how yeah. how do they do it and they are doing the same business it, exactly <laughs> but yeah. you know what? because we have so much respect for each other we know <clears throat> where we stand with each other and if we have that respect for one another and nothing else matters and if we are going to be loyal to each other nothing else would destroy anything instead we will grow as a family yeah this is philosophy in it yeah, yeah. But, but now so um apart from your wedding um yeah. that was, that happened this year that must have been the high the highest highlight of the year <laughs> yeah. yeah um 
what what did you bring from you know from the lockdown situation we've we've all been there and and you know we've all come out of it in a way and we are already back in lockdown again but but uh, still there are things that happened what do you see as a highlight since then that happened to you in your career in your careers you go ahead you go. <laughs> Uh, during lockdown, it was a lot. It, it was a lot. Yeah. It was. It was a very. But it was lovely because it, finally we had time to spend more months one after another together yeah. in the same house. Oh, uh, and I think honestly, it bonded us more. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it. Uh, it made us. Uh, yeah. It. It. It bonded us more, and we bonded more, and I think we are stronger than ever. I think career-wise, it was very depressing, to be honest. Yeah. It was very hard, especially for Judith, because she's freelancing, and of course, I'm fixed in the Opera House. It's better for me, you know. For her, it was very hard to stay home. She got a little bit frustrated sometimes. But I feel like I'm not doing anything. I feel like I'm going to, you know, I want to quit singing because now this is happening. You yeah. know, there was just a lot of... You know, we're human beings. We're always positive, of course. We're always positive. And I think our circle of friends as well played a big role in terms of supporting, <clears throat> um, giving the assurance that things will be better because some of them are not musicians. And so this is how we, 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 we survive. It's always nice to be friends as well with people who are not in the same business as you, who are always have a different idea um, who see life differently than us. Yeah, different perspective. Exactly. And so it was, we were we really blessed that we have this. And so we could support each other. And when we together, we just give us each other that hope. But of course, as human beings, we sometimes get a, a little bit um, frustrated. frustrated. Yeah. And, and the lockdown, the lockdown mainly did that to us, did that. But also we got to spend so much time together. Yeah. We got to make decisions of what we want our future to look like. And so it was also a precious time as well to just yeah. bond as a couple and forget about music and forget about anything else, but just being home, cooking, going out, spending time with friends and really enjoy life. Yeah. I think that's also very important. And I think it's it's that just being real again, just being that normality, you know, that that even though all the heartache and, and all the things that went with it, but I think that's what you're saying, that time together is also. But uh, Judith, um, how did you get back to... Um, uh, singing, I, I mean, was it for you difficult when you then started singing again after this time where you were not? Well, um, of work? course, the first first week, first first week, first week, let's say two weeks, maybe, um, because, of course, not singing on stage and not having that practice that I always had. I was always going and going and going, and uh, I was in it, in a routine of singing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, of course, for the first uh, production, it was last year in June, May, June, mm -hmm. yeah, in Berlin and Deutsche Oper, it was outside the ring. Of course, it was, uh, was like, okay, now we are starting. So I have to study like really seriously. Of course, I was studying, uh, but more, more rarely in the lockdown because you don't have that um that courage that, to do it, yeah, that, no that, that, yeah. Motivation. that motivation exactly thank you honey mm -hmm. that motivation right so when something appeared at the horizon <laughs> i was like oh okay let's do it let's go and just and of course the, it was a, an emotion to hear after so many months it was just so emotional to hear live orchestra behind you and, yeah, and to see public imagine. in front of you yeah. even if it was just like a couple of like a handful of people in front of you but and that emotion just to be with colleagues on the same stage and seeing and yeah it was really emotional yeah but very grateful to do that 
Yeah, I, I know now a little bit about Sunny Boy's journey from um, starting singing, but where did you start singing? What, what age or where did you grow up? So I grew up in Romania, yeah. in a Romanian-Hungarian family. And uh, I started uh, from when I was three years old. Uh, my, my grandmother was taking me to church uh, every Sunday and we were doing... Uh, small theater pieces and, and reciting poems and singing the choir. So I always had that, uh, I have that background, but it, it was never, uh, never thought, I never thought it would be professional, not even my grandmother or my parents. But then um, my mom kept on looking at me that I am very artistic and uh, I love music and I dance very well. And then she um, she started to give me dance lessons. She put me in a group for dance lessons. And then uh, while, while I was dancing and doing these dances, this um, Hungarian traditional dances and Romanian traditional dances, my mom was like, well, we have a neighbor and let's see uh, if you have some musical inclinations because she saw that I can dance and I have a good rhythm in me and I have a good ear and uh, singing in the church. So I started with piano lessons when I was 11 and then with cello, with violoncello. Oh, wow. And yeah, and uh, I did that for four years, piano and cello on the same uh same time which i loved it and i wanted to be a cellist i was already in the small really? orchestra yeah in the school in the music school i was really i really loved it but then unfortunately um i had a, an operation at my hand and uh, i couldn't play piano or cello anymore so my teacher the my cellist teacher she kept on uh, telling me uh before you put that concert on cello you need to learn it by heart and sing it to me with solfege so every concert that i uh, played on the cello i had to sing it to her to know it by heart and then put wow. it on the cello because it's yeah because it's 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 easier and it's you don't have you don't um worry about the notes if you play the wrong notes so if you know the notes already and you know the melody you just have to put it on the cello so it's much easier so she was one of the the, the first teachers who were like what do you want to do do you still want to do music because you won't be able to do cello because of your operation at your hand and I was like I don't know but I still want to do music I was thinking maybe I will be a music teacher or a theory teacher or something like that or yeah, I never thought of singing, actually. And then she was like, you know that you have a very interesting voice. Wouldn't you like to go and meet uh, my very good friend, uh, which was a huge soprano in, in my hometown in Timisoara? She sang a lot of years in the opera house. And then I went to her. She gave me some lessons. And she was the first one who said, you need to have something special. And from mm -hmm. then, just came naturally everything amazing. high school and university and everything yeah but isn't it amazing how the one thing led to the other and and you never even knew you were going to be a singer yeah <laughs> yeah that's amazing yeah. well you both have such, you both have such amazing stories really you know yeah. about how you got to singing but yeah. now um now, I have to ask, because in, when you lived in Romania, you probably never have thought you would end up with a South African. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's so true. I was waiting for that question. Yeah. And we are, a, we are a special breed, I must say, the South Africans. <laughs> You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't help it, but to have a South African around you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you been to South Africa yet? Yes, so many times. We've, we've been, yeah. She met my so mom. Yeah, oh, really. Before she passed away, yeah. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yeah. And and did and your mom were, did your mom approve? They were, they were so in love. I was so jealous. I was just like, no, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, and and did she already have some of the 
the real true South African uh, things that we spoke about the last time, all the South African food. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> she now knows how to make malva pudding. <gasps> really? Oh, wow. She's yes. the best. I love yeah. She to do cooks it. the best <laughs> curries ever. Really? Better than me. I and I'm the teacher, and she sits it does it better than me. I'm, really? I'm sometimes like I don't want to cook anymore because <laughs> everything I teach her, she does it better than me. It's amazing. Well, well if if you know if if uh, if you can make malfa pudding, I mean that's the way to a man's heart. That one. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's that that's his one. stomach. <laughs> Sia, Sia always comes to, comes to Berlin, and when he comes to visit us, he will say. Yeah. You need malva pudding, please. Yeah. And I'm like, either, oh, I either, either carrot, carrot cake, cake or malva, or malva pudding. pudding. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the carrot cake is the, that's also the thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. But now the other way around, and you, you, you must have never realized, Sunny Boy, that you're going to be married to a a, a girl no. from Romania. No, 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 man. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, you know, when you come from South Africa, you always have this mentality. I'll always go back home and, and get yeah. a wife at home. But I mean, I got to Germany and life really, I saw I saw life in a different light. You couldn't you resist me. Just... <laughs> <laughs> and now now Roman but Romania also have very strong tr traditions and and traditional foods and what is your traditional food that you cook for Sunny Boy? Oh my god. <laughs> salmari. They salmari. Do this salmari. Oh my, my god. god. What is that? Yeah. My it's like so it's uh you take the cabbage leaf and yeah. then you fill it uh, fill it with um mincemeat and rice. Oh wow! And some onion. So you cook the mincemeat and the rice separately, and then you put it in the cabbage, which the it's the sour cabbage. Oh yeah. It's, and it's and it's normally done now around winter, and it's a big, huge dish for Christmas yeah. and New Year's. Like this is the thing you need to have it on the table. So he loves that because it's yeah. meat. But, <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 of course. Uh, Judith's mom is the most amazing cook. I, I mean, her really? food is amazing. Sia knows. We were like, oh, <laughs> can, can we come here every every only day just to eat? Because they are so good at cooking. Really, they, they are, their dishes are amazing. Yeah. And it's um, because my family, my mom is Romanian and my father is Hungarian. Hungarian. So my mom uh, learned from my grandmother, my father's mother. Um, she learned also the, all the Hungarian dishes. Oh yeah. So yeah, so she's doing always a mix, mix yeah. of Romanian and Hungarian, and of course also the Hungarian cuisine. It's very rich in flavor, and it's very, very, very good. And so many dishes like the guyash and the bograt yeah. and so many the fish Amazing. soup and oh my god it's yeah. so many things yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> when we are at home for holidays we are in a food coma it's like you yeah. are swimming I in food imagine. i was so much i was so heavy when i left i was like so big i had a big tummy and i told him yeah. honey you we have to diet before we go to romania otherwise <laughs> <laughs> and there's no chance but it's father does a very good goulash he can cook oh, really? a very very good food and my god i was just like how on it's so funny how much in common we have culture wise yeah you'll be in you'll be shocked really there's so mm. much similarities there's so much we almost do the same things that we do in south africa actually mm. how wow. they grow up the way they live uh, gardening all these things that we do really? at home they do it exactly the same well, um, there's just one thing that I think nobody can can uh, compare to South Africa, and that's the amount of mayonnaise and condensed milk we eat. <laughs> oh, they they have no idea what condensed is, by the way. Oh, no, really? and I just told it. It's so funny because my father loved condensed in the tea. And I'm like, and you did yeah, how yeah. can you put condensed in the tea? He's like, it's lovely. It's the best. Yeah. Oh. And I said, uh, because I because we have this goodies shop, this African goodies shop, I only shop there for South African stuff. So I'm going to buy condensed next time for her. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And even in uh, coffee. She, even in coffee, yes. it's so nice. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, I'm already, 
the mayonnaise, she knows the mayonnaise, it's always in the fridge. So. <laughs> but it's so, uh, I saw that uh, your mayonnaise is different. We do, we don't buy our, like my mom and how I grew they up, make we make mayonnaise. Oh, I see. We okay. do it ourselves. So mm. it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. And then Sunny bought this from the shop, this, uh, this mayonnaise that he grew up and I'm like, but this is not the same like always. What is it? Uh, what was it? What is the brand? Blackwell Blackwell mayonnaise or Blackwell no. mayonnaise? Yes, <laughs> and you know the peanut butter as well. The peanut oh, butter. Black oh yeah, yeah, the black cat oh. peanut butter. Yeah, yes. I I never knew about peanut. We don't eat peanut butter. We really? Don't eat, it's, yeah. yeah, I never yeah. knew. It was the first time when I when I arrived in Zurich and then I met Sun and he was like eating peanut butter in the morning with jam. Peanut butter yeah. jam yeah. and tea. Uh, right. Right. Yeah. tea. I'm like and river and okay. and what about what 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 about Mrs. Ball's chutney? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I see there's a lot of education to be done there, uh, Sunny Boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, she knows quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, she's been in South Africa three times already, so she knows uh, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So she, she knows the vibe, how we move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. listen, um, but now what is Christmas like in your, what, what will be Christmas like uh, for you and uh, for um, at your home now? What are you oh. planning for Okay, Christmas? I'll, let me start. Let me start. Yeah. Oh, God, don't embarrass You know, in South Africa, <laughs> Christmas is like, like, it's not so like in Europe, the decoration in the house, the yeah. present, the, 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 the clouds, this thing that yeah. they do here. Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. We go to church, we cook, we go to each other's houses to celebrate like this, and it's hot as hell in South Africa. Yeah, we bride. And then you come, yeah. and then you come to this one. Yeah. It's the whole big deal. So bang. If I tell you <laughs> all the time when when November begins, you did says, son, you need to go in the cellar and get the tree and get this and get this. All the stuff I put them in the in the separate the house is Christmas. <laughs> Beginning of November. I mean September is when? End of October. End of October. <laughs> yeah, Beginning yeah. of November, yeah. It's a yeah. mess. I'm stressed because <laughs> everything has to be Christmas in the house. Sia knows when he comes here, <laughs> we wear, we dress up in a certain way for Christmas. And I'm like, my Christmas. <laughs> if you come to my house now, and I'm you, I'm accustomed to it now. I know that I have to decorate. The whole house is Christmas. I'll, let me show you. We already bit. have the tree up. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit already there. There's oh, a tree, wow. there's Christmas <laughs> everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah, well, just a tiny that's bit. amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. Look, I, I especially put my my uh, um, uh, decoration up for you. Yes. And this, yeah. this is a quilt that my mum made. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So, no, I'm with you there, Judith. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, we, I I go all out. And yeah. uh, last I think was last Christmas we were at yeah. Judith's house. Two two years ago. Two years ago before, before the pandemic. Yes, yeah. two years ago. Oh my God! Let me tell you, I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> they they go out for Christmas. They have family, all the family, the neighbors, family the kids, friends, yeah. the really? gift, and I was just like. How on earth? And the twenty fourth in the new uh, on the, and the food yeah. is like like. The whole everywhere there's food everywhere you come in it's like oh my god but <laughs> every little table that you find space in the house there is food yeah. <laughs> but um, i must say i must yeah. say i must say it's such a wonderful uh tradition because it brings the family together just yeah. The, the, yeah what i love the most was the gifting when there's this moment where everybody open and gives a gift yeah i find yeah. that so amazing that's just mm. so touching for me we buy yeah. each other gifts. It's just yeah. amazing. Santa Claus arrived. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that wonderful? So everything has to be under the tree. All the packages, everything. <laughs> yeah. But you know, and it's also, always this, also this eating together. I don't know. It's like, yes. it's wonderful, you know, sitting around the table because... I mean, in South Africa, it's so hot that we go to the beach or we just have a bride yes. or something like that. We have a bride, exactly. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. us, it's the casual. It's mm. it's like more casual yeah. than formal. Yeah. We go and have a bride outside. We all celebrate. We eat. Here, it's so traditional. The table's decorated. And now, 
I cannot eat Christmas <laughs> without the dishes. We have yeah. dishes for Christmas. We have Christmas and like, dishes and decorations. And I'm used to it now. Actually, I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. That's uh, but now, I think next year, we're going to modernize it. We go to South Africa. She will see. She will explain something. Yes. Else. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to have a braai. She'll have to go yeah. to the beach on sun, uh, on Christmas Day. She has yeah. to experience I, it the real way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cannot. For me... There is no Christmas without snow. I don't know. I can't really? picture Christmas and put summer and Christmas together. I cannot. Oh, it has to be winter, cold, and snow. Yeah. No, you so, have to experience it one time to, to understand. Yeah. 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 Definitely. We need to do that. Yeah. But, um, and, and will you be in Germany over Christmas time or will you be go to your family? We are. We will be here in Germany okay. because hopefully, hopefully that uh, they won't gonna close us oh, yeah. uh, next yeah. week because we will find out if <clears throat> there will be a total lockdown again. Also here in Germany, also for the theater. So we are hoping that uh, I will be able to do the performances that I'm still um, have left in the Deutsche Oper in Berlin. So we plan to do it here because of my performances, they are right around Christmas, one, two days before and after. Oh, okay. So hopefully that that will happen, yeah. So yeah. this time is so oh, also I, last I, year I, was yeah. in, here in Germany. Yeah. yeah. I think last year was a bit sad Christmas time. I think this year we have to celebrate really and just yes. get spirits up, you know, and, and just um yeah. So I agree. Yeah. I agree. And this is our First Christmas is a married couple. Oh, yeah. by them. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is special. Oh, this has to be then a very special occasion. Yeah. I must yeah. tell you, this year, I'm, I, you know, this year has been <laughs> such a glorious blessing for both of us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Amazing. Really so many things happened. Yeah. A lot has happened. And we cannot say anything but be grateful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you are a lovely couple. I mean, just on your pictures as well that I saw you, you look so happy. So and um, Yeah, no, really. So and I love that. I, I love that green, that this, uh, this emerald oh. that you did with your dress. <laughs> it's so amazing. Really, Thank it was you. really so well done. And, and um, it's the first time really I saw a wedding dress in that color, but it's beautiful, yeah. Thank you. No, we, we actually... It, it wasn't supposed to be like that. Originally, we were getting married in South Africa. Yeah. <clears throat> really? Yeah, at the, in Durban, at the Oyster Box. But then because of the pandemic, we had, um, to. We had to postpone. And then we postponed for last, for, for, for this, yes, yeah. for, for, we postponed it for next. this, no. For so it, no, it was supposed to be this year and then we postponed it for next year. No, but we already married last year. No, this year. Oh, sorry, I'm mixing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so we when they postponed it, anymore. it was supposed to be yeah. this year. Mm -hmm. And then we decided because of all the restrictions and Judith's parents not being um, so fully healthy, we decided, okay, you know what? Let's postpone South Africa again. We decided to do a civil wedding in Romania. Let me tell you, a civil wedding in South Africa is not like what we did. No. For <laughs> Judith. Yeah. Anyway. We wanted to also serve Judith's side of family fully and all friends. And then we decided, okay, let's do it. The civil wedding is in, in Romania. In this way, those who can't come to South Africa for our white wedding, they can attend this one. Yeah. Not knowing, Sunny Boy not knowing that a civil wedding in, in, in Romania is another big wedding. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. You know, in South Africa, civil wedding means you go and sign the papers, you yeah. eat dinner, and that's it. In yeah. Romania, it's a shebang. It's a full party. It's a party <laughs> until the next day. In the morning. Really? Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, I was so just from like... five afternoon when we go and sign the papers at the city hall until 5 a.m. The, the, the morning. In the morning. Yeah, in the morning. And it's a, it's a full wedding. Party. It's dancing, a full everything. wedding. And I was just like, well, Judith, why do we go to this venue? Why, why so many things? Why the, the flowers? It's like a full wedding. Mm -hmm. 
And let me tell you, I've never danced in my life until seven o'clock in the really? morning. Really? Never, never, never. <laughs> I was shocked. I didn't know that you had it in him. <laughs> funny boy, you I will enjoy. have to. You will have to just um, produce when you are in South Africa. You will have to then do the whole shebang in South Africa. <laughs> when you <laughs> take I was, the pressure I, is on. I, the pressure I, I, is I, I, on. <laughs> yes, I am pressured. I was just like, see, I was telling Sia, how are we going to, oh my God, this was a lot. <laughs> how are we going to cover that? For, I mean, how, I mean, how is this possible? But yeah. we'll see. We will see. Yeah. Where are you going to get married in South Africa? In Durban. Durban. In Durban. Okay. Yeah, we, we chose the, we chose, she loves the oyster box. I mean, she loves Durban naturally. I mean, in yeah. general. You did in Durban, you would never. All the time when we're in SA, she always go to Durban. Always really? we have to be in Durban. And let me tell you something. She wakes up at six o'clock to go to the sea. To see the sunrise. Really? That's the, my favorite part. Yeah, and the water is so lovely there and, and that it's so part warm. of the coast. Yeah. She, people were looking at us like we're crazy. You yeah, we jumping in, in the water at six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock. Because yeah. like, yeah. we it was July. Yeah, it was a little bit cold for South Towards Africa. the end of July yeah. and sunny, for us it was warm. Sunny tells me, oh, it's winter. And I'm like, how much winter is in South Africa? Because I'm sure it's not minus 20 degrees that I am accustomed to in winter. And then I checked and then he's like, yeah, but it's cold. And then I checked Durban and it was like 27, 28 degrees. I'm like, Sunny, that's not winter, that's yeah. summer. <laughs> so people were looking at us like we yeah. crazy in the morning in the sea. They're like, they were saying in Zulu, hey, you're swimming so early. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But are you from a Durban area, um, Sunny Boy? I thought you were yes, from, I have from Eastern Cape. No, I'm from, I'm, uh, well, my original, all my family is in Durban, uh, yeah. in, in, in Lady Smith as well, and Durban. Okay. But my mom and my dad have a, because they moved to work in Pumalanga. It's yeah. next to Pongola yeah. as well. So I grew up in both. So I was struggling. Oh, the, whole I family is still in, the whole family yeah. is still in there. Well, we, we used to go on holiday in Ivongo. You, Ivongo? Ivongo Beach? It's near Marco. Uh, Ivongo, we see. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you know yes. that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a nice one, of course, a quiet one. <laughs> yeah, very quiet. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it's yeah. a little, uh, um, sort of, uh, you know, it's like a closed beach area. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. always, yeah. we always went there. Oh, but nice. it, it is lovely. It's a one, a beautiful part of South Africa. That so you you yeah. made the right choice to get married there. I'm yeah. looking forward to those pictures. <laughs> of oh, God, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> let's hope that uh, the pandemic will yes. allow yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, because I don't, I don't want to take a risk and you know put people at this position yeah. of yeah. having doing i mean if you come to a wedding you want to come and enjoy not yeah. to be worried about tests and all this just it's not fun and wearing and masks so, and like that yeah yeah it's just yeah. not fun we want to want to be free yeah so yeah. there are a lot of restrictions now yeah. it's like only a certain number of people that it's allowed in the wedding until a certain time only yeah so it's quite difficult now so we will have to see what will gonna happen yeah well nice um thing. everything happens at the right time i believe so i Absolutely. think it will do yeah but, but you married is, already it's just a formality exactly already. yeah it's just, <laughs> it's just going to be another big party That's yeah, for, exactly. for my family then she will have to and learn the Zulu how to do, do the and the Zulu <laughs> tradition yeah yeah because this is why she wants to do it by the way just for the traditional wedding really are yes you, are you going to do traditional wear are you going yes. to you're going to do it that way? Zulu this is the main thing. reason why we're doing it. And I was otherwise I was saying let's just I plant need, it. Yeah, I need like, those no, pictures. No. <laughs> yes. I that's want a, those pictures. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, so we'll that's see. amazing. Oh, that mm. would be great. Oh, now I'm mm. now I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my my family is just like that traditional wedding has to happen because she wants it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, listen, 
this, this was now so great to talk to you and you are really such a lovely couple and I'm so glad to have <laughs> met you both now and um, thank you and I, I wish for you a wonderful Christmas and I wish that your performances would uh, be there that you would be able to do that and yeah, yeah. and Hope Sunny Boy so. also for you a uh, much success uh, like you've always done and I think you're an inspiration for many I, I talk a lot about you in my interviews when I talk about I noticed uh, that you yeah. make me famous <laughs> I talk about you. yeah because I, I think you're such a great example you know of of from so where you come from and worked hard and all the faith that you have and I think yeah. it's very yeah. inspirational you're so kind thank yeah. you so much yeah but have a lovely um rest of the evening and uh Thanks. i you hope too. to meet you one day in person when you come to vienna maybe you will listen to her start to operate does something i don't know this yeah so yes. <laughs> will you let me know Yes. Well, of course, okay. of course. Okay. No, yes. Merry well, Christmas, and uh, I wish you all the best. It was really lovely to to get to know you and talk to you. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. And yeah, and um, we'll speak soon. I'm sure. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have a lovely evening, my dear. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much, Beatrice. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.